Well, the Denver Zoo is home to about 75 flamingos, both American and Chilean, and right now they're living in a temporary enclosure while a new home is being built for them. The flamingos are about to take center stage at the zoo for flock party. Doesn't that sound fun? It it's does. A party. Yeah. Yes. Joining <laughs> us now is Bert Vescolani, president and CEO of the Denver Zoo. Thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. I love being here. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, Bert, we talked about how I'm new here, so tell me, what is, what is a flock party? It's Denver Zoo's one time a year biggest event, fundraising event, to do everything that we do for Denver Zoo. Okay. Yeah, and it makes sounds sense. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally makes sense to me. I mean, all you have to say is party, but <laughs> attendees, they actually, actually dress up for this party, so how did that all get started? Well, it's been crazy. So each year it's kind of changed a little bit and the outfits become a little bit more unique each year. You can see all kinds of crazy stuff like you see on your monitor there. It's like amazing. <laughs> um, and there's all kinds of surprises. Things uh, just appear at the zoo. We show all kinds of unique animals and so on. There's food and drink and you know, everything to do is just pretty amazing there. Yeah, expand on that a little bit, Bert. I mean, the flamingos will be out, obviously. We see some of the animals there on, on the screen that we're showing, but what other animals' uh, experiences could, could people see? Well, I tell you, one of the coolest things that you can see is the elephant crossing the bridge, a 14,000-pound animal crossing a bridge over your head. It's, it's pretty spectacular. We'll do stuff with our rhino and our hippo and some other experiences, a lot of surprises along the way. We love that. Okay, so money is raised. How is the money used for the flock party? It goes for Denver Zoo. So it really helps us care for the animals in the best possible way, our education programs, our field conservation programs, both locally and globally. Um, everything that we do at Denver Zoo is about inspiring people to fall in love with animals and the places that they live to conserve them in the best possible way. But it's called the flock party, so why are the flamingos getting all the love? <laughs> the flamingos always get all the love. Uh, they are, they're just great animals. They're a little smelly at times, but they are absolutely cool animals. And we've got some new babies, and it's just been, it's just been a great year for us, and we're excited to share the place. I can't wait to join the party. That should be a lot of fun. I know. Yeah. I didn't know flamingos were smelly. I know that. <laughs> I know their you color is really cool, and I love how they sleep. Anything that eats fish is going to be smelly. True. Just as in <laughs> FY Insider Track Zoo World. All right, <laughs> Bert, thank you so much. And uh, we just learned a new fun fact. Yes, we did. Yes, yes, All we right, did. so you can shake a tail feather or whatever <laughs> at the flock party. It's coming up Saturday, September 9th at 5 p.m. at the Denver Zoo. And we do have a link to get tickets at cbscolorado.com. Bert, thanks so much. All right, first alert meteorologist.